And then finally, these two warehouse replenishment and stock matrix. So the warehouse replenishment starts in this particular screen. So you would pick uh, a dispatch date, you pick your main warehouse and your source destination warehouse. And that's then going to show you where you've got shortages. I haven't actually got enough stock here to be able to do that, but it would show me what it's going to transfer. And it's only going to list the mutual stock items that are in both locations. So again, listing those, what should you transfer? And you just click on create transfer. What that's going to do is those where there are items to transfer and you've got enough stock, and what it's doing, it's basing it on the minimum stock level and what your current stock is. So the shortage, that then drops it into this stock shortage transfer screen here. You'll see all of those items. You can then do your allocation. So that's going to ring fence them in the uh, in the source warehouse. You can print your pick list for your warehouse. You can then dispatch them. That moves them into in transit. And then when you know they've got to the, uh, the destination warehouse, you can mark them as received. For those of you who perhaps looked, perhaps looked at or have got the Sycon barcoding, you probably recognize this screen. That's where the uh, by taking the warehouse replenishment, the previous screen, especially if you've got consignment uh, warehouses or perhaps stores and uh, you know shops and you need to be sending items out from your main warehouse really complements that as well with these dispatches then coming out to the handheld for the, uh, automatically for the warehouse to then pick and dispatch that updating sage and then the stock matrix so the way this works in the settings you you create all of your your metrics so your sizes colors color sizes i think i had sleeve lengths as well you then create your groups so what have I got? Formal dress shirts. So I've used, you've got an X and a Y grid. So we're going to use color size and sleeve. And then you can have some other attributes. You come over to this particular screen. So these stock items don't exist at the moment. So you pick the locations that you're going to stock it. So which warehouse locations do you want to set up against each of those stock items? Who the preferred supplier would be for those? Um, you've got your default tax code as well. So you can set some of the defaults. And all you do is you generate your stock codes. That then drops them out into your stock module, ready to be used. But at the same time, you then, if we go back into the sales order, as we look to add items on, and if we go for, again, I'll pick King Stanton. This time round, it's the matrix button. Obviously, if you've got the matrix there, so the customer's on the phone. So they're looking for some formal shirts. And they want two, two of those, one of those, they'd like five of those. Add your sales order. Would I like to edit any prices or any discounts? I can fill in any prices. So let's just go. They're nice dress shirts. Well, nice ones for me. But uh, there we go. That's now dropped them in and we're ready to save that and get that ready to be dispatched.